As per usual, things have got a little bit out of hand. Um, you start one thing, you're like, oh, well, if I'm there, I might as well do that and that, and you keep working yourself further around and around. And yeah, basically, <laughs> well, let me flip around and show you. I have ended up with this. End of flashback. Hey, good morning, everyone. So it is the 30th of April. Um, we're here in base camp and I am gonna get started on another project, uh, more bodywork stuff. Uh, yeah, have a look. I'll show you my plan for today or the next couple of days. See how it goes, you never know. Uh, yeah, let me turn around. There we go. So this really bugs me. It looks a mess because there's been previous damage there, badly repaired and then I tried to tidy it up with not much success, so now I am thinking to do it properly and um, sort of actually remove the wing, you know, grind it all back, rust treat it, fill any dodgy bits and spray it white like we were doing on the back before, just to tidy this whole corner up basically because it's pretty much the, the last bit that's really letting down the uh, the look of the truck at the moment. Spin that back around. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to start stripping it now. Uh, I'll put it on a little time lapse so you can uh, see how it goes and then um, we'll in inspect what actually needs to be done. One eternity later. Let's strip the front and the wings. Um, giving it a wash already, but uh, it needs all prepping because there's all these like there's some slight rush patches forming in and around, um, and I want to deal with it now while it's still just mainly surface rust and uh, get it all protected and coated all underneath to. Um, sort these uh, wings out. This was the, this is what I actually did the job for. Was to sort this mess out on the front corner of the wing, <laughs> but it's escalated quickly. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Got that one, that one to sort out as well, and the, whatever you call it, panel that goes on the front. And I need to clean up and paint. So yeah, I've given it a rinse down boiling some some hot water to do a hot soapy wash uh, wash everything down and then start grinding and sanding and um, prepping it for paint basically so so yeah let's get to it Right, so I've been scrubbing it, wire brushing it, wire wheeling it, sanding it, all those things, you know what it's like. Um, let me show you. This is what I've done for today, but um, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna, gonna leave it here, I think. I've had enough now, it's been like, well, I started at about 10, and it's now five, six o'clock, so. Um, <laughs> it's been stripped more. Gonna carry on tomorrow. 
but just got the worst of the loose stuff off. It's a bit scabby. Um, but if we uh, rust treat it and then put a good coat of paint on it, hopefully it'll be alright for a while. And on the other side, the other side's not as well. It's different actually. It's not so bad on the on the front, but um, there's a few bad bits. Uh, the back, I've got to sort that, fill that, because that actually goes to the inside. And uh, this car is 35, 34 years old, so considering it's not too bad, really. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I'm going to have a break and uh, continue with this in the morning. All right, see you there. Right, so it is a new day. I'm back at it. Um, I've done a little bit already this morning and I have so I've gone over finished up yesterday all the um, grinding back wire wheeling wire brushing sanding and that etc um, obviously I couldn't get all of the rust out of the surface so I've uh, gone around with me you can't really see the label anymore but it's um Vacton um, it's a rust converter it's supposed to be pretty well renowned I've had good success with it so that's what I use as a rust converter uh, also it's like a primer stabilizes the wash, the rust converts it into a paintable surface which is cool um, yeah so I'll show you everything you see all the rust has kind of gone black now because I've put that back to none um, Used a little bit of filler in the places I've needed to use filler. And it's rough, excuse me. Um, so I'll just uh, sand that off, but it fills that hole that actually went through to the cab, which is not cool. So that's where the windscreen, uh, you know, where there's the, the gaps for the water to run down, it comes out, runs down there and can run straight in. So it's a common problem, but caught this one nice and early and um, filled that, sand that before paint. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, let's continue. I'm also going to touch up some of the white bits on the body where we need to go in this gap anyway because it was getting bits of rust in here, which you can see visually from the outside even when the wing's on. So, I'm going to prime and, and white paint this area. I'm going to do this as well because this was a bit rough from where the area will come off and it had been filled badly by me but um, just sanded it down some more and it was getting it was getting uh, like chips and things anyway which were rusting so I've just grinded those out rust converted uh, anything that's left and we'll paint a few moments later right so that's those bits etch primed and a couple of coats of just uh, some white from the DIY store a gloss white uh, seems to seems to be pretty good. Um, also did the bracket because that you know what it's like when you get those snorkel things or, or whatever any kind of attachments that the, the brackets normally end up rusting through pretty quick. So and that one had so chuck a couple of coats on that as well. Um, same on the other side. Yeah, just that that pillar and. In the in the gap around here so um, that's where you can see still when the wings on so yeah now time to uh, get in here and um, get the I'm gonna use a, a black paint uh, like a metal paint under there already treated the rust so should be good to go let's do it Now we're trying to work on the wings. 
Christina kindly had a good idea for getting this horrible black sticky stuff off. <laughs> Very sticky, yeah. On the edges of the inner wing. Um, it's got some nail polish remover and it seems to be doing the trick. Well, it <laughs> needs really to be used. <laughs> struggling to get for it something. Off. <laughs> yeah. So because uh, we want to yeah, clean the inside of that lip and paint it with the metal paint so this stuff any more rust for me. This stuff is really horrible. It smells horrible, even if it says acetone free, but it does a job. So, yeah. Slowly but surely. And this is what the car is looking like after a couple of coats of... No, sorry, one coat of paint. I've got to do another coat. Um, the inner arches in the front and the lights around and the other side too. Yeah. It's about 30 degrees today, so I'm gonna take a lunch break. We've got that um, prepped, prepped, um, and then the other crash panel thingy. Um, so, yeah, and then I've rust converted them, ready for some metal paint on the inside, just on the rusty bits to protect that. Um, second coat is gonna about to go on there. But first, lunch. What have we got? Um, avocado and eggy wraps. Mm. Looks delicious. Tuck in. Right, so today is putting it back together day. Um, as you can see, it's all uh, looking fresh under the inner wings, all around the front. Pleased with the, uh, the way it turned out. It's got a nice um, shine on it, so it should be nice and easy to clean, I'd say. Um, that's the front. Yeah, I got all the um, nuts and bolts out. There's blimmin' loads of them. Got to figure out how to put it back together, which one goes where. Um, started sorting these out already. That's what we got left. Um, but yeah, wings got to go back on. Wings are there because I've been um, working on the inside of the wing, just putting a layer. What? treating any rust and putting a layer of paint around the edge to stop the, the edges of the arches from rusting. Um, there's all the trims and things, got to go back on, arch liners, uh, the whole front of the car, the grille, side, headlight, headlamp surrounds, um, bumper and the centrepiece which I also painted yesterday and uh, I've also as you saw, we were painting the outside of the wings, so I'll show you around those when they're back on. Let's crack on. And while I'm here, I wanted to put some of this edging that I got around this snorkel hole to protect the new pipe for the snorkel because the other one ended up pretty ruined. That's more like it.
eventually. And she's done. Just like that. No, nah, not really. It's been an awfully long day again. Um, as you can see, the sun's getting pretty low now. <laughs> so it's pretty much evening. It's time for dinner. So it's pretty much an all day again. But she's back together. Look at this. Uh, I said I'd show you. Um, so that messy front corner was a big reason why I wanted to do this. So that's looking a lot better. I hope you agree. Um, all one colour at least now. <laughs> Whereas it was like a mismatch of like creams and whites and yeah, before. Um, that's that side. Obviously nice and clean underneath, should be easy to clean. All back together, bumpers back on, grills back in. And again this side, it was um, like there was some big deep scratches that were rusting along here. I think it was keyed either by when the previous owner had it. Um, so I sorted that out, just kind of like not a full respray but like a treating any damage and blending in kind of thing as best you can because the, the paintwork on this anyway is nearly 35 years old so <laughs> it's got a few battle scars and uh, it's not the, the the tidiest anymore so it's yeah it's just kind of neatening things up making it making it look uh, look making it look better than it did basically um, at least um, have it presentable rather than having to uh, well we're thinking like should we fork out for a full respray and all that but um, I kind of like the uh, the old kind of tiredish look of the paint paintwork and um, so forth if we can just kind of make it uh, tidy up some of the areas that were let sort of letting it down then uh, kind of run run with it as it is for now and also you don't have to worry about scratching up and things when you're on the trails because um, it's already halfway there <laughs> but yeah pleased with the pleased with the outcome it's been about a three day job from start to finish really um, alrighty then I'm gonna leave it there for today or I should say the last three days it's been fun it's been emotional glad to have uh, had you on on board coming along and working on the maintenance side of things and Molly with us um, yeah I want to know or we want to know what um what you've been up to during this lockdown what projects or not projects anything really uh, let's chat in the comments and um, guys have, I don't know like are you following us on Instagram or not because um, if you're not then then you should because uh, well that's if you want to see us more often because we're doing day-to-day -day stories on there uh, around base camp what we do down here in Portugal or wherever we are for that matter uh, yeah check us out on there at JK Overland Oi, not so fast. <laughs> you thought this video is over? Well, not yet. Before you go, I want to say that we do more videos like this, guys. Um, so if you want to see more of like DIY, maintenance, upgrades, us working on a molly, please do check out our Patreon. The main reason why we made Patreon is, most importantly, in exchange for your support, there's more we can give back to you guys. So do check out the link up here and also in the video description below so see you later